just a simple plumbing connection, a hot and cold garden hose connected to a spigot on the side of the house, run out to the woodshed with an old shower head and you're good to go. We've got a pallet on the ground, a couple of pavers, have some screening. This home improvement project is the best we've ever done. I love it. I haven't taken a shower inside from May through September. It's the bomb. The most difficult part of this project is tying into your hot water line and running that line outside to a hose bib. So here we have our hot water heater and we've got a copper line we just tied in, put a valve on, ran the copper line out over through to the rim joist, sealed the whole hole after the pipe goes through the rim joist. This is copper, but you could use PEX. This job probably left best to a plumber unless you are uh, skilled at soldering or crimping uh, a line because uh, it takes a little bit of skill to do that. Electric hot water heater dated on the install, that's always a good idea. And that's it, that gives you hot water to the shower. This looks a little bit like an octopus, but this is where we get our hot and cold water from. Here's our cold. And here's our hot. This is probably the most difficult part of the project. You need to tie into your hot water line in the basement. Anyways, we pick up our hot and cold and just run those with garden hoses over to our woodshed. And I'll hustle up over here. And the back side of the woodshed. We run the garden hoses up to this mixing valve, an old salvaged mixing valve right here, hot and cold. And we have these salvaged panels that we use for privacy screens. And we have a pallet, pavers leading up to our deck. And that's our outside shower, it's as simple as that. So our shower is very rudimentary, basic garden hoses, not fancy pallet on the floor or on the ground, leftover materials, and uh, we have the advantage of being out on a fair amount of acreage, so we have some built-in privacy and we don't need a fancy screening system. We do have those doors uh, that you can fold open for privacy on two sides, and the other side is a whole bunch of acreage, so and that's a really nice thing about an outdoor shower is you're out there naked and you, f you know, feel like you're doing something wrong or whatever, but it's, you know, as natural as it gets. And uh, it's, it's really a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, some people might say, hey, I can't have an outdoor shower because, you know, I live in the city or I live in the suburbs. That's not the case. Uh, with a little bit of uh, creativity, you can have some outdoor showers right in the city. And I'll add a couple of examples. A friend of mine... Scotty Mason. Scotty and Becky. He's got the shower in downtown historic district of Tampa. And uh, he's got a private location. Just made it private. Uh, same thing with uh, sister-in-law, brother-in-law, Ellen and Greg in California. Uh, theirs is even more spiffy. So you can make those as nice as you want or as uh, basic as you want. But they are just a lot of fun. So uh, I would highly encourage anybody to take on that project. For us, total cost, we had spare parts. Basically nothing with the exception of hiring the plumber. And uh, I did that because we had a plumber in our house working on the heating system or I could have done it myself. But that was probably a hundred bucks uh, if you had to buy all the new parts and a plumber. You know, maybe a couple hundred dollars for this real cheap easier than a hot tub you don't have to clean it your septic system if you're out in the country really appreciates that because you're not adding all that water you don't have to clean your tub just a lot of good stuff so anybody considering it i would encourage it as my dad said to me all the time make it a good day nestled between the back of the garage and the fence rear property line same shower and tambo taken further away looking at the door. 
This is a very nice outdoor shower nestled in the backyard of a suburban neighborhood near Santa Cruz, California. If you like, please like and subscribe. Thank you.